All right, guys, so we are less than 48 hours from the official reveal of the 1000 Day Celebration characters and as well as what I'm personally excited for. The main thing I'm really excited for, guys, is the new game mode. They are officially going to reveal the new game mode. Now, there is some stuff I'm going to go over here in this video of what I think. I kind of changed my mind. Last time, I um, I pretty much said there was going to be a... I mean, I speculated there's going to be a kid goku now i'm switching my mind in a little bit and, and i'm gonna tell you guys just why because we kind of got new information guys so right here just really quick guys it says uh videos and stuff number 12 is coming soon which is uh this tuesday at 2 p.m pacific time but uh it says here this episode will feature new uh feature new character information now it says character not characters but in the japanese version it does say character so just keep in mind i think there's gonna be multiple characters here um, including two different types of celebration, meaning uh, I think that people that log in specifically into the 1000 days uh, are going to get a free to play character. And then as well as there's going to be a banner. So keep that in mind. That's what I think. So and as well, um, as well as says plus details on a brand new game mode. Don't miss out. So there we go, guys. I am extremely excited for this. This is coming Tuesday. Now, let's go over a few things here really quick. This is the Japanese version translation. So. I always like going over both because both always have slight translations like here. They literally have their own videos and stuff with like different um, uh, different people in the video. So uh, here it says this time in addition uh, to information on the new characters, like characters, not character. Uh, we will deliver plenty of details of the new completely new story mode. So plenty of details, guys. It's not just going to be a sneak peek. There's going to be plenty of details diving in of how to play the new game mode, what the new game mode is going to be all about. And that's exactly what I'm really, really excited for, guys. But I think they're going to reveal this right here. Now, this, I believe, um, if you guys didn't know, if you guys are quite confused, so am I. But this right here was a data mine leak from last week's uh leaks that actually hasn't been revealed yet but it's inside the game guys it's a uh, z power and z souls super souls and z rising souls right so the left one that you see here this is the of course uh the z power now this has a question mark in it i know it's a little bit hard to see but yeah it has a question mark in it guys and uh i believe this is going to correlate to the 1000 day celebration a uh, free to play character maybe a spear bomb exchange shop goku now that's my estimated guess for that and of course we are getting um a z power i mean z souls uh to go along with that so uh this is the super soul and then as well as the rising soul so uh yeah we're gonna get that as well so really quick guys um i think it's going to have something to do with an assist unit uh, coming for the 1000 day celebration because of two things and actually three things. I'm so sorry. So uh, number one is actually if um, basically here we got new information for the Demon King Piccolo. Uh, they have a website on the V jump. Um, there's an official website for the V jump and they actually revealed some information here for the new Demi King Piccolo. Of course, and Nazar Orochi broke it down right here in a uh, short little um, summarization. So it says right here, uh, pretty much, actually, let me zoom out because that's too big. All right, it says here, Demi King Piccolo in Legends will be debuting on an all-star banner. Now, all-star banners are usually, uh, it comes out usually right before uh, the other one ends. So the current one that we have right now is the current Dragon Ball banner. So this is going to be another Dragon Ball banner, what it seems like. But it says here, he requires you to have a certain amount of Dragon Balls as well as a certain amount of timer counts passed before you can transform with him. So, of course, a timer count and you have to have, I don't know if it's going to be seven Dragon Balls, but this is going to look, this looks pretty epic. So, uh, I've never seen a transformation tied into the Dragon Ball. So, that's going to be really cool. And it says here, after transforming, he will gain a boost to his damage as well as uh, card draw speed. So, he, uh, so he has high combo potential. He also uh, draws cards as well as other effects as enemy switches out uh, into the battlefield and his Z abilities of course what we thought it'd be uh, Dragon Ball Saga Z ability number one blast attack and defense and of course since he's blast attack I'm assuming he's gonna be a range type unit but he's also going to have a uh, tremendous amount of strike damage because I did break down that in the video Z ability two is Dragon Ball Saga regeneration and Z ability three is Dragon Ball and regeneration and powerful opponent as as, as I predicted but if we go back here guys for one quick second now, this is where I'm tying everything into of why I think it's going to be an assist unit. Uh, before, we thought it was going to be a Kid Goku because 
we saw that there was going to be a Demon King Piccolo coming out and as well as they kind of like uh, had a little icon of Kid Goku in the 1000 day celebration. Now, it can still happen. That could still be a Kid Goku. But we forget that uh, uh, last update on the App Store or Google Play Store, they actually updated this, which is uh, what I highlighted right here. It says updated contents. The color of your assists characters will change in the same I will change if the same character is on your opponent's team. So before, let's just say I have a Broly and Chilai, and you have a Broly and Chilai. The Chilai that would be coming in for me has the same uh, has the same color outfit as a Chilai for you. So that never changed. So now they're like, you know what? I have a feeling that uh, the next assist unit a lot of people are going to be using. So let's not cause too much confusion here, and let's have a. Uh, all right, guys, so sorry about that. I got interrupted. My fire alarm went off for no reason. But uh, yeah, guys, so like I was saying, if you have a Broly and Chilai, I have a Broly and Chilai. Pretty much that Chilai never changed. Now it's going to change colors. Uh, they decided to make this minor change maybe because they think that the next assist unit that's going to come out is uh, very soon. And as well as it's going to be a very much used assist unit where they do have to make this change. So uh, also, guys, the uh, Google Play iTunes, uh, not, not the iTunes, the Google Play Store, not the iTunes, uh, did get changed. Now, even if you're on Google Play, uh, some of you guys uh, are saying it didn't get changed, but it's just for a few of you. Maybe uh, it's region-based, kind of like before it was region-based. They kind of like to hint stuff like this, kind of like Shala, UI, Goku, uh, Jiren, and stuff like that, and uh, another Vegeta that came out, but... Yeah, there are different uh, types of icons. There's this one right here, which is a split icon of Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, and as well as a, a vertical and horizontal one. So pretty much the same thing, but it's for Google Play uh, specifically. Now, to be honest with you guys, I am mainly excited for the new game mode. Um, Toshi specifically said this game mode will play uh, different than any other game mode. So I don't know if that's going to specifically mean... Uh, a huge drastic change in terms of like is it going to be character versus character like pvp is it going to be some kind of like dungeon style probably like a uh, more uh knowledge type of um uh, thing where we have to kind of think things through uh and it's not just very much like character versus character maybe it's more of like a setup kind of like a pseudo pvp maybe or like if you guys aren't familiar pseudo pvp is where you kind of stationary your characters or maybe it has something to do with guild versus guild. Who knows? But we're going to find out. What's funny is that Toshi specifically said uh, last videos and stuff that this is going to come out springtime. It's not necessarily springtime yet. Um, I'm not saying that it's going to come out just because you're going to reveal major details about it um, uh, upcoming Tuesday. So I, I don't know if that's going to reveal absolutely everything, including the release date. Uh, because springtime is kind of broad. It could be anywhere from like April. We're technically almost there, right? It's what, like mid-March? I mean, mid-March. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm so ahead of time. No, it's uh, mid-February, but March, April, like a month or two ahead of time, maybe. Uh, I don't know if they're still like, if they're done with it because they're actually going to reveal it. So maybe they're just right now in the testing phase of uh things but uh yeah we can expect some pretty cool stuff for these videos and stuff and i'm uh quite excited and i will def uh, definitely keep you guys updated and by the way tomorrow guys i am gonna have a buhan showcase with kid boo an amazing one that is i have a phenomenal region team uh, to showcase and i might have my boo uh buhan maxed out at 14 stars fully sold boosted so look out for that but yeah guys if you enjoyed the video make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and if you guys uh like i said have not subscribed consider subscribing because i cover here everything dragon ball legends daily and i'll catch you guys tomorrow have a good one peace